Hey everybody, welcome back to Listography. Jason, Joe, and Krams are here. We just wrapped up our Albums of the Year series, which means we just finished the 2010s. And as we've done at the end of every decade, we are going to make up a fantasy band out of musicians that were prominent in that decade. So musicians of the 2010s will name guitarist, drummer, bass, keys, whatever else that we want. And uh, then we will leave it up to you to vote on which band you'd most want to hear. And you can also drop ideas for names for these fantasy bands down in the comments as well. So who wants to start? I came up with a super group that is just going to be rock and roll, baby. Not really the decade of rock, but this is going to work for sure. Nice blend of just some sort of sex appeal. There's some very um, flourishing and fancy players on here. There's some people that just have really good feel. I'm going to start it off on bass from Kings of Leon, Jared Farrowill. Then I'm gonna get my boy on here who can also sing. That's kind of a little trick we do a lot when we come up with these fantasy bands, get a lot of people that can sing, but whenever they need the vocals and on rhythm guitar, I'm gonna go with my boy, Kurt Vial, holding it down on the skins. I think a pretty underrated player, um, Patrick Carney, drummer from the Black Keys, just you know, nothing about this band is going to be super flashy or experimental. It's just going to be good old fashioned rock with Gary Clark Jr. on lead guitar. Also a great voice, but bring in the sultry in the style, lead singing Lana Del Rey, baby. Would love to hear her just do a vibe of these bands that she's always singing about. I mean, she name drops Rolling Stones, Crosby, Stills and Nash, all kinds of stuff. Let her sing with these, uh, these just rock revival kind of players. And I think the result would be pretty friggin' awesome. This is probably the fantasy band that I like the most from the decades we've done. I think this one would kick ass. Interesting choice. This is, I don't know, the 2010s, there weren't that many like players that I really want to like talk about. Like all the bands and, and winners sort of not a lot of like bands, like it's a lot of artists, a lot of production, a lot of, you know, hired guns, but I guess I can like scrape together a five piece here. I'm going to go with on vocals, Miguel. He's probably my favorite singer of the decade. Lots of R&B style, obviously. Uh, on bass, that's an easy one. I'm going to go Thundercat. And if he was unavailable, I'd probably throw in Jesse F. Keeler from Death From Above 1979, but Thundercat's my first choice. On guitar, it's tough to find somebody who would fit with this band that I'm going with, but you know, I don't wanna just go with Slash because I like Slash. He was doing some good stuff this year or this decade. On bass, I'm gonna go with someone who can also produce and pretty much handle anything else. Uh, Mark Ronson, uh, who I like a lot and he does a lot of good production work and I do like Uptown Funk a lot the whole album some cool stuff on there and for drums I'll dip back in the Death from Above 1979 pool with Sebastian Granger because I don't really know a single other drummer the only other drummer I can even think of and I don't even know if he really drums on his albums uh, would be Father John Misty but I don't know how that would work I don't know if he's quite got the swing to keep up with this band. So I'll go with Granger. You said Mark Ronson's playing bass? Yes. You have two bass players? You have Thundercat and Mark Ronson? <laughs> yeah, you know what? That's badass. No, I guess... would, one be, would one be lower than the other? or like? <laughs> yeah, Thundercat's going to be the soloist. Ronson's going to be you know, sort of the, the backbone of the band. Mark Ronson, though, can also do piano, anything else. He's, he's the wild card. All right. My favorite singer of the decade, probably, or at least my favorite voice, is Winston Yellen from Nightbeds. But he took a really uh, direction I didn't care for after Country Sleep. He kind of tried to be Bonnie Bear and do like this electronic R&B thing almost. So I'm going to try to get him back to playing like some rootsier music with a band built around him. On drums, I'm gonna start with Griffin Goldsmith from Dawes, great drummer, 
can sing backing vocals. On bass, I'm going to go with Kevin Black, who played with Sturgill Simpson and Margot Price. Great bass player. On guitar, I've got Sam Cohen, who can also provide backing vocals as well. And I'm going to throw in a pedal steel player this time. I'm going to go with Matt Pistol Stosel from Faye Webster's band. And then, of course, the record that this band makes will be produced by Jonathan Rado. Mm. Good call. Yeah, we should have been picking producers this entire time. We should have. Mark Ronson can produce my album. Yeah, and play bass and piano. Especially for this decade, like you said, Joe, it was a producer's decade, I feel like, big time. You're going to go with John Congleton for your rock band? Cream? Well, yeah, why not? Or, um, hmm, sure, if he's available. All right, well, you know what to do. Name these bands, make up a band of your own. And let us know which of these three bands you'd most like to hear. Uh, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the bell for notifications. Check the description for links to all of our social media accounts. We'll see you in the next one.